Good day friends and welcome to the first of many videos in our series, our short video series on core skills for project managers and engineers. And in this video, we are going to be talking about risk and risk management. And we are going to approach this from three perspectives. What it is, why it's important, and how do you do it? So let's start off with what is risk and risk management? Well, the definition of a risk is the, it is the effect of uncertainty on objectives. Or as per the PMI, the Project Management Institute, they define a risk as an uncertain event or condition that if it occurs will either have a positive or a negative effect on one or more of your objectives. Now, positive risks we call opportunities and negative risks we call threats. So that's what it is. Why is this important for you as an engineer or a project manager? Well, risks and risk management specifically helps you to look into the future. It helps you to anticipate what can go wrong and to then try and prevent these events from impacting your project uh, and your objectives. Now that is important because it helps you to maintain the momentum on your project and it helps you from a business perspective to protect your margin. So that's what it is and why it's important. So how do you do it? Well, firstly, you don't do it haphazardly. Risk and risk assessments, you need to plan and you need to be very deliberate about how you're going to go about it. Secondly, you follow a structured approach. You have to follow a structured approach, either, otherwise you're going to miss something. And there, we'd like to point you to the ISO 31000 International Framework. And we'll be discussing that later on as well. So thirdly, you don't do it alone. A risk assessment, you always do in a group because more brains are better than one. And lastly, you don't do it once. Risk assessment and risk management is a continuous process which you keep on doing over and over. So there you have it. If you want to know more about how to physically facilitate your risk assessment, how to do it, well, have a look at our new micro course on this topic about how to do a risk assessment. And stay tuned for our video, our next video in this short series on technical skills for project managers and engineers. We'll see you again. Cheers.